With the growing population in the country at the rate of 52% in the urban sector, analysts view this as a disaster in the making for the country. Currently, half of the world's population is living under the urban sector. Samuel Mabala, the commissioner in the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Urban Development, argues that though as the urban sector is growing, a number of issues has to be streamlined to address these issues. The rate at which we are urbanizing is among the fastest in the whole world. 5.2% in urban areas, once you do not have money, once you do not have an income, it is even, you, you, it's a real, real disaster. So that's why um, the issue of urban poverty is very critical and therefore we need to see how we can uh, create employment for the urban dwellers. He notes that some of these challenges are brought in with the rate at which the country could be transforming and moving forward. People migrating from rural areas to the urban areas and that is also is a big is, a, is bound to increase it's bound to increase because they are not coming just for the sake of it but because they are coming to look for employment opportunities yeah they need to have to, to have access to economic opportunities and improve on their livelihoods Analysts also argue that the way forward could be streamlined by setting up the National Urban Forum in which issues such as the National Urban Policy could be brought in to guide the development and structuring of the urban sector. So we think that the policy should be able to define a hierarchy of settlements. That even if it is in the rural area, we want settlements that are centered in one place, that are new created, as it were, that we should promote people to come and live close, in close proximity to one another, where services can easily be provided. This year, the Ministry in Charge of Lands, Housing and Urban Development will represent Uganda in Naples at the World Urban Forum, established by the United Nations to examine one of the most pressing problems facing the world today. Maurice Ochoa, NTV.